An historically black Indianapolis neighborhood is working to make sure its history is remembered 365 days a year. Tonight, WRTV's Cameron Riddle shows us how they're working to put the past on display and how you can be a part of it. In the Ransom Place neighborhood, the Neighborhood Association is celebrating the history of the people who live there by forever placing their names on bricks in a commemorative park just north of Indiana Avenue. We did this campaign um, a few years ago and we started with just like neighborhood folks. Candace Hawkins already has her name on a brick that was installed a few years ago. She's the president of the Ransom Place Neighborhood Association and has lived in the neighborhood all 33 years of her life. I am a third generation uh, Ransom Place resident. I lived here before it was even coined the name Ransom Place. The history in this neighborhood runs deep, once home to the epicenter of black culture and business in Indianapolis. Freeman Ransom actually lived in the house that I grew up in, um, that my parents lived in, and Freeman Ransom is Madam C.J. Walker's lawyer. Much of the Ransom Place and Indiana Avenue area was bulldozed to make way for the IUPUI campus, which sits just just across the street from the small park where the bricks will tell a story. Making it something that people in the neighborhood could come to to visit, to honor, you know, people that have passed or people that maybe have moved. We're just trying to honor the Indiana Avenue corridor, really. Hawkins is hoping the residents, organizations, and businesses that call Ransom Place and Indiana Avenue their original home will purchase a brick and have their name forever imprinted on the changing neighborhood. Not only is it black history, but another tag would be Indianapolis history. Um, we are, you know, extremely close to downtown. We're extremely close to the avenue. A lot of the people, again, worked and played on the avenue that lived in this neighborhood previously. They worked, they had families. You know, they were doing everything that we were doing now. Um, it just was obviously in a different time. Cameron Riddle, WRTV. Well, any person, organization, or business is eligible to put their name on a brick. The bricks are $75. The proceeds will help maintain the park and other common areas in the neighborhood. The Ransom Place Neighborhood Association is hoping to get orders completed by mid-March. And you can learn much more at our website, WRTV.com.